you know, I'm a little bummed out. I had met someone and I got really excited about him, but it's, it just sort of feels like the universe again is just sort of like, nope, not yet. Not yet, which is okay. It'd be nice for once if things worked out, even just for a little while. And I'm that person that meets the nice guy, and the guy who has his everything together, and I'm the one that breaks their heart. Not by any bad way, you know, not, not in any bad way, just, I just feel like I'm not in love with them, and I just tell them, it's what you do when you date. You come to a point where you, you figure out that this is going to be the person that you're going to be madly in love with, or maybe not. Break up, spend time apart, get over it, in good time, you can become friends. I'm grateful to have the friendships that I have right now with the guys that I've dated in, in my past. I have dated some incredible people. Some very, very beautiful men, inside and out. Some exciting news, actually. I sold a painting. I sold a painting. Holy crap, I sold a painting. Brett Cruz, thank you so much for your support. I would I am I am not kidding when I say that I cried for like 30 minutes after I realized I sold a painting. On one end, you know, it's fantastic and it's very happy and everything, and but it's one of my, my favorite pieces and you know, it's it's it'll be bittersweet to to send it off. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I was very very thrilled when I realized that. It was a very very great day. Thank you for that day and for that memory. Ooh, see that that's kind of nice. I'm learning. I'm grateful that I can paint through my emotions. It's like a very beautiful outlet for me. And very therapeutic. If anyone out there watching is considering taking up painting, just absolutely do it. I mean, you're gonna mess up and make a lot of mistakes, but it's it's gratifying. Like, yeah, sure, this is Darth Vader, and and when we got together, this is Corey Vader, by the way, the person that posed with me. He's incredible, um, Mr. Darth Vader. He's the best, and we thought, we both loved Phantom of the Opera, so we thought, you know, some sort of like a masquerade type of a, a piece would be really great to see Darth Vader in, you know, Darth Vader in a masquerade ball, and just sort of in that dark, mysterious kind of love. When I posed for this one, I was wearing a, a black and brown striped dress. But as I was painting it, I kind of thought, oh, black and white. It'd be just so much more fun. The color scheme just feels more right. <laughs> just feels right. Ooh, that papa. Papa. That papa. What am I talking about? Pop of <laughs> turquoise. It's nice. I think the best thing about art is that it doesn't need to make sense. Sometimes people want to make you think that it needs to make sense. Really, nothing needs to make sense. If that makes sense. <laughs> Ooh. I like what's happening. I like what's happening. I'm adding fullness to her hair. It's sort of like fire. And then maybe just movement. I like it. Alright. I think I'm going to call it a night. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah. Good night. Whoops. Don't be afraid to fall in love. For a date. Especially in LA.